Hi, this is Lloyd Chambers at DickLloyd.com. I want to talk about field curvature, which is a focusing related uh, issue. Uh, with field curvature, focus that should be at the same distance isn't. So if you focus at 10 feet in the center of the frame, it may be that in the middle of the frame, uh, I mean, uh, middle halfway to the edges, it may actually be focus at 11, uh, 11 feet or more commonly nine feet, a little closer. And then towards the edges, it may be back at 10 feet and then into the corners, it goes to 12 feet. So what you have is this undulation of focus across the frame. That means it's not exactly in a plane uh, of uh, focus, which is why I prefer to call it a zone of focus instead of a plane of focus. Now with field curvature you can have various levels of correction. Some lenses are better than others. A really well corrected lens is called a, would be called a flat field lens, meaning its field curvature is held to strict parameters you know, so that it focuses more or less in a plane. Um, that shouldn't be confused with distortion, which is a warping of shapes and bending of lines. So a good example of an excellent flat field lens is a Zeiss 100mm f2 macroplanar. Actually, that's now known as the Milvis 100 F2M. Um, that's a telephoto. Very nice flat field. Some telephotos have field curvature, some don't. Other examples which are interesting is that the Zeiss, Zeiss has two 20, 20, uh, 25 millimeter lenses, the 25 millimeter F2. Now, its field curvature tends to arc towards the camera at the edges. And its sibling, however, the 25-2.8 Distagon, has its field curvature, curvature be fairly well corrected and even in the arc rearward towards the edges and corners. So very different even at the same focal length. The difference is they're one stop different and there's an optical design trade-off there. Similar to the 25-F2 is the Milvis 21-2.8, which has a forward field curvature more mild than the 25-F2, but um, still arcing towards the camera distance. Now, why is this important? Well, if you're focused at a certain distance, expecting a sharp plane of focus cutting through the scene, and that field is actually curving forward or curving rearward, you're not going to get things sharp quite where you expect them. And on high resolution digital, this may impair your results. You'll have to stop down further to get the sharpness you want. So sometimes if you tweak the focus just a little bit, you can get a better overall sharpness across the frame. Uh, in fact, with some wide-angle lenses, you really have to be at f8 before you can get crispness across the entire frame, corner to corner and left to right, uh, because of field curvature. So it's well worth understanding and uh, understanding the lens you have and how it behaves. The other general things to know about field curvature are that um, usually the wider the lens and the faster the lens, the more field curvature it has. So if it's an f1.4 uh, design, it's probably got more field curvature, almost certainly does. If it's a 15 millimeter, 18 millimeter, those get harder and harder to correct versus more moderate wide angles. So most, most of these lenses will have uh, field curvature like that. If you've got an FC and F4 lens of some brand, it may still have field curvature, but because it's F4, it's harder to see. It does get masked with stopping down. But bottom line is you should understand the field curvature of your lens and uh, perhaps adjust your focusing uh, just slightly to sort of balance out the best overall focus for the frame.